Good morning, everyone. Today I'm in Bellingham, Massachusetts, doing Wildflowers 101, Episode 68. Today we will be looking at three-seeded mercury. Here is the three-seeded mercury. Nicknames Virginia three-seed mercury, common copper leaf, rhomboid mercury, and rhombic copper leaf. Three-seeded mercury is in the spurge family, but it has clear sap rather than milky. It is a weedy, annual perennial herbaceous plant blooms june through october flowers are greenish yellow to brown dense clusters of tiny short petalless flowers emerge from the low bracts where the leaf stalks meet the main stem bracts are green to reddish brown leaves are a medium to dark green egg shaped coarsely toothed or lobed four inches long by one inch wide they are densely packed and alternate stems reddish green erect and unbranching grows eight to twenty four inches they can be hairless or somewhat hairy roots are a shallow Tap root. The secondary roots are a fibrous root system. Seeds are a capsule. Plant gets its name from three segmented seed capsules. Habitats, roadsides, abandoned lots, gardens, stream banks, forest openings, disturbed soil, and railroads. Likes full sun to part shade, moist to dry soil. Three-seeded mercury is a native plant to North America. Pollinators. It has little value to pollinators. It is cross-pollinated by the wind. Some butterflies will come and pollinate the plant. Herbivores such as deer and mice will eat it and it is a good food source for birds such as wild turkeys grouse and morning doves warning three seeded mercury is toxic to cats some people have reported when they are weeding their garden that you do get a skin irritation from the sap make sure you wear gloves when you're weeding parts of the plant are poisonous if ingested i hope you have a chance to see the three seeded mercury bloom june through october peace love and joy always be humble always be kind thanks for watching see you next time